Panther Magazine, the Panther Platform Lookbook and the official publication for the Panther Platform. What's up YouTube, it's Derek from Panther Magazine and thanks for checking out the channel. So I'm back in the Merc. Um, I'm just gonna show you guys, just in case there's people out there that don't know how to do it. It's pretty simple, um, replacing the dome light. Um, I'm actually gonna replace the whole dome light console. Um, so yeah, this, that's what this video is about. And uh, it should be pretty short, it's pretty simple. Um, so let's get into it. So as you can see here, like I said earlier, this saw is not cooperating like it should. Um, so I did put the new bulbs in here. It did work, but I think I'm just gonna have to replace it because this is kind of faulty. I think the fuse in here and I think the fuse here is done as well. Um, I kind of learned how to take this whole piece off at the junkyard today. So I got my screwdriver here and there's one, sorry about that. There's one, two, three screws here that you have to take out. It's gonna take those out. All right, that kind of hurt a little bit. Should be okay now. Maybe not. That thing is in there for real. There we go. And we're just gonna take the other two out, and I'll get back on the video once those once those two bolts are out. So I got the two screws out. Well, the other one I took the first one out. With you guys i'm going to show you once you take this last screw out i don't think there's a specific order this thing just falls off so as you can see the last screw made this thing fall made the dome piece um the whole console fell and it's only connected by this here so once you disconnect this piece Did it pretty easy at the junkyard. This one seems a little bit more difficult to take out. Ah, oh, that kind of hurt. But um, <laughs> there we go. It's off. So I do have another one. So I have the new one here. Unfortunately, uh, it's gray. You can see this is like tan brown. Uh, it doesn't really match the rest of the car, but. This is what I'm gonna put up here and hopefully it works the way I need it to. So here we are, put this uh, connector back on here. Like that, I think, I think it's on there pretty good. And um, yeah, you just wanna put this back on here. Not sure. This is kind of tricky. There we go. So I think we're just gonna uh, screw this back on and hopefully it works. Um, there we go. Yeah, hopefully it works and screw this back in. Put the bulbs in and we're gonna see if it turns on or not. So I already have one screw in there. We're gonna put one more. This last one here, it's it's pretty it's pretty it's in there pretty good. The uh the dome light console. I'm not sure what else to call it, so I'm calling it a console. There we go. It's kind of loose on this side, so That's what I was looking for. There we go. As you 
as you can see here, I have my bulbs and my new dome cover. These ones were the old ones. These two clear ones, excuse me, are the new ones. Um, these were LEDs, so it's gonna suck. I'm gonna have regular lights, but I feel like the regular bulbs are gonna bring a more old school feel to the 2003 Grand Marquis. So let's try to put them in and see if they work. Putting the bulbs in are pretty simple. We have, where is it? That's what the bulbs look like. And one on this side. All right, the moment of truth. So pretty much the bulbs won't, they're not turning on, man. Um, I'm not sure why. I did put one of the newer bulbs that I got in the older dome light console and one side worked and the other side didn't. So maybe I'm just gonna have to, I mean, it shouldn't be rocket science, but for some reason it's not working. So maybe I'll just put the other one on there and just ride out with that dome light. It's getting pretty late. I'll probably make another video once I figure out why the heck they're not working in the new one. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna put the other one in and show you guys that it works. Opposed to the old LED ones that were blinking in and out um, in the previous video. Hey, what's up guys? I'm back here. Got the old dome light console back on there. One thing I noticed, um, I don't think, first of all, this piece here is supposed to connect in there. It's supposed to make a click. That's how you know it's on and the bulb turns on. This one here is kind of broken here. And I think this, this came from an older Grand Marquis. This didn't come from a 2003. So maybe, maybe even just the dome lights have to be specific within the, um, the age range of the car. So I may have to go on eBay and find me a 2003 specifically dome light cover and console. This bulb does turn on though. And this side is still broken. So as you can see. Yeah, it's kind of annoying. That was the whole purpose of finding a new one. So this could just like work. But it works. And this one's broken, so it is what it is. I'm just gonna have to find a 2003 dome light console off eBay or something that shouldn't be too expensive. I mean, it cost me $5 at the junkyard this morning. So, um, but that's pretty much how you would swap this out if you ever wanted to. Um, there's three screws here you have to take out. This will pretty much fall out and hang from the connector gonna take this connector out um, grab your new console put it up here connect it put your bulbs in and it should work and that's about it so um, yeah thanks for checking out the video and I'll let you guys know when I get a new dome cover and uh, I'll catch you guys on the next video